what a great message to see as I opened my first episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke error loading 5 slot. How brilliant, how professional. Anyway, welcome to Jamie Easter 91's Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. Thank you all for joining in and bearing with me because you're totally so invested in the other Nuzlocke series, the White 2 1, which is now on a permanent hiatus because that ROM sucks. Anyway, let's not continue from Gukur F67. Let's start a new game. That was just a test run to, to uh, check that the ROM had everything in order and wasn't a piece of shit like the other one. So, yeah. Um, what happened with uh, White 2? Oh, there's so much shit. Like, but if, you, if you look at it again, I wasn't getting any XP from anything. What was that even about? And just, oh. Stupid crap was happening with that ROM, and it just pissed me off quite a bit. So uh, I may come back to that eventually. I may find a better white two ROM. I may use my black two ROM, which I think works a lot better. Um, I have completed the game with that one, so I may come back to that. But I want to focus on this one for now. Uh, I didn't want to have a long hiatus from videos, like you know how I get when I stop recording for a while. It ends up being months and months before I make my next video. Which reminds me, I need to make another video. Um, so, I have a boy, Oak, with your swaggy gold suit. Please tell me your name. My name is... Jamie, and forgive me for not being able to see this bottom screen. Not too much important happens on it, but, you know, um, I'm, I'm just recording the top screen this time, so that hopefully it looks better on YouTube, because if you've seen the first two parts of my white tuners, like, Looking at both of the screens looks kind of terrible because of those huge black borders that are always there, which is really, really annoying. Um, and funny thing, this is my second take of this part here because I got to this bit and I thought, oh, hold on, why, why can you only see like a little bit of, of the screen? Why is the rest of it black? So I scrapped the entire recording thinking it was something wrong with the ROM and I was getting quite annoyed with that by now. <laughs> the ROMs aren't too nice to me. Um, but yeah, and then, and then I stepped outside and I realised it was just because I was inside the house. Silly me! <laughs> hey there Maryland, how are you doing? And Lyra, the person you think is going to be a rival and then turns out to just be random friend. I mean, even Bianca is better than you. But anyway, here we are. Heart Gold, Soul Silver, the Gen 4 remix of Gen 2. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Heart Gold and Soul Silver are my favourite Pokemon games. Full stop. They're just so brilliant and I hope to get into a lot of the things that make this game so great. As I uh, play through the game, I absolutely love it. This along with Black and White 2 and uh, X and Y, uh, I'd have to say, I know it's not been out long, but um, it's quite excellent. Those those three have been my favourite Pokemon games. What are you doing, mysterious red-haired boy? So, this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? You don't get shit to kick me in. What do I do? Anyway, let's visit Elm's Lab with the cheeriest music in Pokemon history. Just listen to this. Anyway, we meet the second professor in the Pokemon series, which is kind of redundant because Oak is in this game as well, but oh well. Hi Jamie, I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are in Pokeballs these days, but before the Pokeballs were invented, people used to walk with Pokemon, just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, but walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. I don't actually know what those advantages are. I haven't played this in a while, which is strange for me because I love this so much. But yeah, the, the big, I guess you can say, gimmick that they were flaunting with this. I don't know if you could do it in the original Gold and Silver. I think you could do it with Yellow with Pikachu, but yeah, you can walk around with your Pokemon. And uh, it's pretty great, you get to see how they're feeling and stuff like that. I don't know if you can pick up items, like, so a uh, Pokemon with the ability to pick up, although they just do it automatically and do it from the inventory. I think sometimes you can talk to them and they'll give you items, which is pretty useful. 
So, Elm wants us to go to Mr. Pokemon's house. He's a collector of rare Pokemon thingies. But, so I can get through the dangerous tall grass with those horrible Rattatas. I've got to pick a Pokemon. Chikorita. Totodile or Cyndaquil. And so, it was a very, very difficult choice. Now, because it's Soul Silver, um, and uh, Lugia is in the game, and very, may, I don't know what I'm going to do that. Anyway, I don't want to pick Totodile, I've had Totodile before. So it was between Cyndaquil, which I love, it's my personal favourite of the Johto starters, and Chikorita, which would make it quite an interesting challenge, as you may know if you've played the game with a Chikorita. Um, but it's also nice because Chikorita, I believe, is one of those wallish type Pokemon you can toxic stall. I believe you can set up screens. I'm not entirely sure. So, Cyndaquil or Chikorita. To, to be honest, I really don't know now still. It's um, it's quite the challenge. But you know what? This is a Nuzlocke. And uh, I'll be explaining the rules shortly, by the way. This is a Nuzlocke. To make it as challenging as, and as frustrating for me as possible. I'm going to go with Chikorita. <laughs> Wish me luck, because I'm going to need it. Oh. She received Chikorita from Professor Elm. That sprite looks really weird. Give it a nickname, yes. Um, should I give it a Hayden nickname? A la Green Dick? I don't think so, no. But uh, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure what nickname to give it. Um... Should we go with a Pro Jared nickname where you just make random sounds until you get something? But it's got a leaf on its head, so let's go with Le Le Leaf. Le now I just want to call it Leafy on. Um Le Leaf Leaf or it's like chicory to like Leafy. Hey leaf, leaf, leaf. Leftovers! I can call it Leftovers, that's a nice name. Right. Um, Lifetera, yeah, Lif Lifetera. It's really shitty. Hey, Lifetera, welcome to the team. Yes, it is. It's, it's just it's so much. that sprite is really. Uh, the Cyndaquil one's good, and I think the Toadbell one's. What is that? Look at it. It looks like it. What is that? It looks like it. I don't even know. It's like a crappy car. It's like the white bits of wheels. <sighs> Does it look better when it's... No, no that, that looks really terrible. Is, is that just me, or does that look absolutely awful? Anyway, give me those potions. They'll be uh, useful. Oh, wait, no, they won't. Because I'm not using healing items, at least until the enemy does. So if the enemy uses a healing item, I can use them too. But until then... There's no healing items. Uh, it's kind of a weird rule, but uh, there you go. And look at Chikorita stare. Straight into your soul. Well, anyway, other rules of the Nuzlocke. So, obviously, the standard rules, um, for those not in the know, that is you must catch the first Pokemon you see in an area and only that Pokemon. If it faints, that's it. That's the chunk there, but you've got to wait till the next area. And the, the other rule. The infamous permadeath rule. If one of my Pokemon faints, it's going in the death box. <sighs> a death box, a horrible graveyard of Pokemon. Apparently, if you walk with a Pokemon, it'll be friendly. That's pretty cool. Why don't I show it to my mom? Yes, I've got to show it to my mom. Goodbye, Lyra. Go on, Maryland. Yeah, um, my inspiration to do this run, there's actually two. My first one was uh, Pro Jared's Fire Red Nuzlocke, and that is... Probably the best in his lock I've seen. Um, I mean, Pro Jared is kind of a variety guy. He does reviews of lots of different, mostly modern games. And uh, he does do some old games, but you know, mostly it's kind of modern games like he's recently in Battlefield 4 and doing stuff like that. So when, when he was making a Nuzlocke run, I didn't expect him to. I expected him to know a lot of. most stuff about the game, but he knew everything. Like, oh, uh, if, if I was playing Fire Run, I'd forget about the that the physical special split didn't exist yet. But no, he knew everything, and that run was really, really cool and really funny. Um, if you've not seen Pro Jared's Nuzlocke, then I highly, highly recommend that you go watch it. Um, 
And the other inspiration, although, well, the other inspiration was kind of me making the white tuners lock and then. Because uh, my friend, Legend262, on YouTube, is doing a fire red lizard lock right now. And so, and I didn't know that at the time, and uh, I came and went on Skype with him, and I said, hey, I'm doing a white tuners lock. And he said, well, I'm doing a fire red lock too. So that was pretty cool, and uh, I don't want to stop doing a lock when he's doing one as well. I mean, that's kind of cool that we're both doing one at the same time. Check his series out, by the way, it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I think he's on Mount Moon at the moment. Yeah, with his sexy birdo, scrap mat, and rap rap. Yeah, he's quite colourful with nicknames and it's pretty funny. So go check out that series, but of course still watch this one. Please don't leave me. I'm get good, I swear. The first wild Pokemon may appear. Oh! Oh, Lippy! Hoot hoot! Level 2 hoot hoot. Well, the, uh... Oh, let me take a look. Ah, Lefotera. Lefotera. I don't think the rule... Well, personally, I don't think the uh, rule for uh, catching the first Pokemon you see really applies until you have your Pokeballs. So I'm not going to have to catch a level 2 hoot hoot or this hoot hoot. When I have the Pokeballs, I'm going to come back to this route and see what I get. But uh, since I'm playing at night, because so, um, in this game, I think this might be the only game where it does it? I'm not sure. Um, Pokemon encounter rates and... Uh, just Pokemon you can generally get in routes affected by what time of day you're playing. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to mostly be playing at night, as you can see I'm playing at night now. So, that'll probably heavily affect what I can catch. I have not, in fact, looked up um, catch rates or anything like that. I have no idea what I can find on the routes. I, I know about the first few routes and Dark Cave, but that's about it. Um, so, uh, it'll be quite a surprise, which I hope will be entertaining to you guys. Um, so, yeah, and I, I'm still hoping that this comes out okay, this recording with the top screen. I mean, what I can see now is, uh, while I'm walking along, there's these, like, black dots coming on the screen. I guess it's because I've dragged my emulator screen out quite big. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping this turns out okay. I'd like this to be a long running series alongside I Want to Be the Guy, which you should totally go check out if you haven't yet. Yeah, I better end this off soon because, uh, it's been going for quite a while. I uh, often forget to keep a timer on these things, unfortunately for me. Um, yeah, let's finish off this hoot hoot. Down, come on. But yeah, I'm uh, really hoping that this series can kick off quite well. Um, and for the few of you that actually watch this, welcome, and uh, I hope you'll stick around for some. Crazy adventures, probably involving Lefetira dying. But anyway, thank you very much for tuning in to my first part of Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. So, that's it really. Thank you again for tuning in. I've been Jamieson91. Please subscribe if you liked and uh, like the video. And I would say comment, but fuck Google+. Plus. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.